Hello, my bookish friends. Welcome back to our channel. Y'all, today is Sunday, and I have had a really, really, really good weekend. If you watched my last video, then you know that I was off for three days in a row, and your girl loved it. Well deserved. I have been working my booty off at work. I don't take many off days, so it was fabulous. But now it is Sunday, and it is time to get back into action so um i am doing a whole sunday reset video on my main channel so if you don't follow me over there i would love to have you um on my main channel it is like fitness date nights lifestyle i do a little sprinkle of my book stuff over there but yeah that is what my main channel is about so i am doing a reset video over there but I also want to go to the library because I am looking for a book. So a little update. First of all, if you're new here, my name is Danny. I am often in my car because I am always on the go. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't mind, go ahead and press subscribe because I'm going to bring you the book wrecks. Like the thrillers are going to thrill, okay? So um, it is Sunday and I'm out and about. So I'm kind of dual vlogging. Um, I did just pick up a pickup order at Walgreens because I like to get our toilet paper, tissue, and like laundry detergent um, from Walgreens because on Saturdays they do like the big sales. I don't know if y'all know. But while I am out, I also want to go by the library because I'm looking for a book. So the last time y'all saw me, I told y'all that I was reading Unsub with my friend. First, we loved it. We enjoyed it. It was so, 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 so good. Like I literally didn't expect it to be that good and it was that good. It is a series. So Kim and I will probably read the second one together as well. But yeah, it was really, really, really good. Like I said, if you like crime or detective type books, then that will be right up your alley. Add it to your TBR. And then I told y'all that I was gonna try and see if I wanted to read The Truth by Nick Cutter. I got about 50 pages in and I was like, huh, hey, not a total DNF, but I just don't feel like reading that right now. So this morning I sat on my futon in my newly decorated reading room and I read the first two chapters of maybe five books because that's one thing that I like to do as well like if I don't know what I want to read I'll just grab like a bunch of my books and just read like the first or two chapters to see which one speaks to me or which one I want to keep reading so when I did that the couple the new couple in 5b by Lisa Unger that one stuck out to me I'm enjoying it I'm literally only like seven percent in but that's the one that I wanted to keep reading so that is what I am reading right now I'm gonna stick to it so I like books that have to deal with like New York and like apartments and couples living in an apartment I did read that this book um turns supernatural which initially I wasn't in the mood for like a supernatural type book but now I am um I've read a couple supernatural type twists before so I did enjoy them I just have to be in the mood for them so that is what I am reading right now the new couple in 5b I was seeing this book everywhere y'all like all over Instagram all over TikTok all over Facebook so I know that it is highly like hyped so we'll see if it's worth it I have not read anything by Lisa Unger so I am excited to kind of dive into like her brain and see how she writes um what else is going on we are gonna go to the library i think we're headed to the library now actually because i do have to pick up groceries and things of that nature but i want to just leave that obviously to the end when i'm about to go home so nothing goes bad but i want to go into the library for one see what they got duh <laughs> but also i want to see if i can find a physical copy of the new couple in 5b if not it's fine it's on both my kindles but i kind of have been missing like filling paper because unsub i listened to it and read it on my kindle so that's why i kind of want to see if i can find um the new couple in 5b like paper or hardback so yeah y'all happy sunday y'all let me know what y'all are reading i think that's what i'm gonna stick with again i am no stranger to dnf in a book i will dnf a book in a second like i'm not the type of person that's gonna struggle through a book just to keep reading it baby i will dnf a book 70 percent i will dnf a book 70 percent in like i do not care if i'm not enjoying it i'm not enjoying it so um i swear 
water in here hits different. If you don't have a water jug, get on it. But anyway, so we are gonna head to the library now. I'm gonna take y'all with me. We gonna poke around. I live by at least five libraries that I can think of now, but we're gonna go to the one that I most recently discovered and the one that I've been enjoying the most. We're gonna run in there, walk around, take a peek, see if it's anything I wanna check out, and then we'll continue on with our day. Um, again, thank y'all for so much love on like all of my videos. We are already at almost a thousand subscribers and that is blessed for me because I literally just started my channel like less than three months ago. So thank y'all, but yeah, let's get to the library and then um, I'll pull y'all back out so we can look around. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I just ran to Harris Teeter because the library does not open till two. And now I am back at the library and around this library is like this. <laughs> it's like a lot of walking um, and climbing paths and then this huge lake or whatever. So I'm just walking around, getting me some steps in until the library opens in about 15 minutes. But yeah, just getting me some steps, getting me some vitamin D, getting me some fresh air until the library opens. So yeah, this is another part, I guess, of my reset, just getting some fresh air, getting outside. I've never walked back here. So I don't know, it's kind of spooky. It's probably real crazy in the night. But yeah, it's like a little slide was right there. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a little walk in, stretch my legs until the library opens. And this is why I say I really love this library because as you guys can see it's like new fiction and it has like a lot of the new books that literally just came out so they have like the list which is a new book which I might check out but if you guys just take a look they pretty much have like a lot of new books um, I've seen this floating around the partner plot which is new um, and then when you come down here, I know I've seen the weekend retreat. I saw this at Barnes just the other week. And then I also have been seeing this a lot. So yeah, this library always has like new new. So I'm going to keep looking and see what I can find. Um, even this right here. I just saw this um, at Barnes & Noble and the cover eats. So I'm gonna keep looking and I'll be back with y'all. Shh, it's a library. Okay, so I'm at the library and really quickly, I just wanted to come and show y'all all the books that they have here that I feel are very interesting. Like this library eats. So really quickly, they have The Weekend by Tara Laska Whiskey. And I literally just saw this book at Barnes and Noble like a week ago when we went. And I told y'all that I love a good weekend retreat. So they have this book and I love how they make sure that we know that they're new. So that's pretty interesting. I'm talking loudly because I ducked off into one of these like uh, rooms and no one's in here. So I was like, let me come record a clip real quick. Also, I just posted this on my Instagram story as a horror book that I wanted to read. It is Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. I'm not going to say what they're about because that would take too much time and I don't want to be in this room too long if someone needs it. So Just Like Home by Sarah Gailey. This is a horror book that I have been wanting to read. I have been interested in this. The cover eats down. So yeah, that is what that looks like. They also have the list by Yomi Ade. Goki, hopefully I'm not um, messing the name up, but The List. This is also a book that I see all the time, like on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and they have this. They also have this book, which I don't know anything about it. I just know I see it all the time. Um, Greta Bedelli by Rebecca K. Riley. And yeah, this cover eats, it speaks volumes. I love the green lines again i don't know what it's about i think it's a thriller maybe
So I don't really know what this is about, but I just wanted to show y'all because it's new. The cover eats, and I know this is one that we always see. And then this one is another book that I literally just saw at um, Barnes and Noble. And again, I thought the cover ate down, and um, yeah, it's just was just at Barnes and Noble. So I'm gonna take a second to read like a little bit of each one, and then I'll probably be back when I get home to show y'all like what I got, but this library eats eats down like look at all these great freaking titles i was coming in here like i told y'all to see if i could find the new couple um in 5b but i didn't find it but we found some gems i'm gonna take one more walk around the library and see what i can find and then i think i'm gonna sit and read a little bit but i have to duck off in this room and kind of show y'all what they're working with because that could have been a thumbnail too are you serious killing the game so yeah, I'm going to walk around, see what I can find, and then I'll be back. I just have to stop in here and show y'all real quick. All right, y'all, so real quick, a little library haul or whatever. I'm rarely talking on my stories, so I was like, let me show y'all what I got. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you will see more in um, videos this week. But the first thing that I did pick up was Just Like Home by Sarah Gilly. I have been wanting to read this for the longest time, so I picked that up. I also picked up Blessed Water by Margot Dar Dare. Picked that up. Very excited to read that. I also picked up The Weekend Retreat by Tara Laskowiski. Y'all, I'm butchering these names. And then the last book that I picked up was The List by Yomi Adegoki. And yes, I'm at Target waiting on my drive up order. But I also think I'm going to run in because I want to look at the books. But yeah, those are the library books I got. Y'all let me know. Do you go to the library? Because if not, you should. Hello, my bookish besties. So y'all, as you guys can see, sadly, <laughs> I'm back at work. I'm on my lunch break. I'm headed home because um, I put in a barbecue pork something that I got from Aldi in the crock pot so I'm going home to check on it stir it up pull it apart y'all know and then I'm trying to think about hopefully my man will go home after me and he can turn it off I'm gonna have to call him and see if not I'm gonna have to turn it off and then when I get home turn it back on while I like work out and stuff but anyway Y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all a little bitty update about my book. So, well, a couple updates. So, y'all know I'm reading The New Couple in 5B, and it's giving very much um, a good time. It's giving very much weird. It's giving very much haunted, which I like. Like I told y'all in the previous clips, uh, I don't even know if I told y'all what this is about, but basically this is about a couple that inherits an apartment in a haunted building or whatever. And um, she's an aspiring writer. Her husband, he, his name is Chad. He's um, an actor. Her name is Rosie. So they inherit this apartment. Once they move in, a lot of stuff starts happening. And like from the moment she walked in the first day, she's just figuring out a lot of stuff and it's really good. So yeah, I will say though, I will say that um, if you ever read The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, this, it's giving that. It's giving that. Like not on the exact same level, but it is giving that. It's, remind, it's reminding me a lot of the Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley, which I loved. So I'm feeling it. I like this, but it, it, it's reminding me of that. Um, <clears throat> I want to say I'm about 40% in, which is good. Um, I might be able to finish this up today or tomorrow, just depending on how busy I am. Um, I was going to go to the gym, but like I said, depending on my crock pot meal, I may need to come home and do my workout so that I can continue to watch it. So I think we're going to do barbecue pork, like pulled pork, and you, I've got, I got some buns, so we can either make like a barbecue pork pulled sandwich, <clears throat> or you can just eat it without the bread, and then I have like some baby potatoes that I'm going to like cook with garlic and herb seasonings and then a vegetable but anyway that is my update on what i'm reading i also started listening to y'all not gonna believe it y'all not gonna believe it 
I started listening to The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. So, backstory on this. Y'all know what I read. Y'all know what I like. Y'all do. That's why we twin in them. But my man, if you watched the last video, he is big. Like, he likes thrillers and stuff like that. But he mostly read, like, Dan Brown, Napoleon Hill. Like, he real intellectual. I'm just kidding. But that's the stuff he likes to read. So, he told me or asked me, he was like, well, since I started reading some of your thrillers and I enjoy them, you start reading or listening to Dan Brown. So, I tried to read the Da Vinci Code and I tried to read Demons and Angels and I just couldn't get with reading it but shout out to Libby because Libby came through and <clears throat> Da Vinci Code came available on Libby it's 17 hours I've been listening to it and I like it I actually like it. it it's giving the accents are giving the story is giving it's like it's good so far so I'm, I'm very happy to be reading something that he wanted me to read because he always tries to read things I want him to read. So that's a little update. So I'm finishing up the uh, the new couple in 5B and then I started listening to the Da Vinci Code today. So of course, as I'm driving, working at the gym, I'll probably listen to the Da Vinci Code. But yeah, I just wanted to come back with a couple updates. Let me run in my apartment, check this crock pot meal, and I will see y'all in my next clip. All right, y'all. So just wanted to come with a little update because I think I'm about to end this vlog. I'm just getting home, showered, um, cooked dinner, um, did everything I had to do. Now I'm sitting in my reading room. I always have to have a heater because I'm always cold. So I got a little heater right there. I have a little beverage right here yeah waiting on my man to get back from the gym so we can eat dinner i did barbecue pulled pork um like them little mini potatoes and corn so yeah i'm just about to read y'all i just want to say this book is giving i'm on 40 percent. this is um the new couple in 5b um i'm at 40 percent, which is really good because i literally just started it yesterday um so yeah i'm reading the new couple in 5b just wanted to come and update y'all i'm really enjoying it i do think the next book I'm going to read, here are my library books that I picked up yesterday. I think the next book I'm going to try to read is either Bless Water or maybe The Weekend Retreat. I don't know, but it'll probably be one of my library books because then I know I want to read S.A. Cosby's book, My Darkest Prayer. I do want to read that. So yeah, but I think I'm going to try to knock out my library books because I don't want to renew them because someone else is probably waiting on them so yeah I think after I finish um the new couple in 5b I'm gonna try to read Bless Water and then the weekend retreat so yeah I don't know if I'm ending the vlog here I look crazy so I'm not gonna flip the camera around just wanted to give y'all a reading update like I said in the car um this book is giving the Paris apartment, but we'll see. I am enjoying it. So I'm going to keep reading and I will see y'all either in my next video or my next clip.